with this thing on the sheet and we feed hands. It's only feet. It's only feet. Back to another episode of Only Fans with me, Karen Elizabeth Fian, Jared Schwartz, and today we have Canadian YouTube sensation Ryan Long here <laughs> with my new boy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Couple Ernest. of fucking dogs hanging out Stop. on the couch. He did try to bite you a little bit. Well, he came in because Jared started talking about killing himself. And then he got... I know. He tries to intervene. He said, "Don't <laughs> tempt him." <laughs> He's like, if anybody's going to die and get sympathy, it's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am. <laughs> That's the thing. He starts trying to steal his thunder. Yeah. <laughs> now that he's getting his attention, he's sort of nuzzled back in, though, which is good. Mm-hmm. I feel like he knows it's his last day, so he's just, like, getting his sort of, like, this is my house type of vibes out. There's been a lot of, uh, on the way here, a lot, I'll tell you what there's been a lot of, right. is every, like, thing, people trying to cancel stuff and news being, like, the biggest snowstorm's coming. Yeah. Like, you sort of, like, don't even leave your house. I know. And you look outside, I went outside, and went for a run, it was, like, a couple snowflakes. Fine. Couple snowflakes. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell I, you what, that's what happens with these American snowflakes. Wow. <laughs> okay, you got fucking, them. They're triggered. Yeah. The, By a couple of snowflakes. The Canuck one, fragility of America zero. Where I come from? In July? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're fucking wearing snowshoes in July. I mean, I guess. To get your mail is a four-hour procedure. I fucking love, <laughs> truly love trudging through the snow, to be honest with you. I, I love it because... Is this what you consider trudging through the snow right here? No. <laughs> Real deal. Couple flakes? Like, say if it's, like, up to your shin. You've never experienced up to your shin. Of course. You wouldn't know trudging through the snow if it fucking slapped you. I'm from Massachusetts. I mean, you're, like, way more, like, No, where I live is basically the same as here, but (laughs) people were pretty up in arms. (laughs) Well, it's ridiculous. People were like, oh, I'm the... the, uh, Ryan's from the the hottest part of Canada. and stuff. Yeah, no, um, no, people are such pussies. Everybody loves to can't. I'm like, what's the worst that's going to happen, though? Things maybe take longer because you can't move as fast, but. Yeah, uh, you're a little chillier. Yeah, other than Your hair that, gets a bit wet if it's really snowing. Right. Not quite as bad as rain, but still. Ooh. I prefer a little snow on my hair, but I think it's nice. It's whimsical. Yeah, it adds a little spice. white stuff in her hair. There we go. Yeah, it likes white stuff in her hair. You fucking slut. Dunk. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> hey, that's Karen every day. We showing up to like uh, real, real fucking uh, work stuff. And it's like, well, yeah, um, let me guess. Snowing again? These darn these darn flakes never melt. <laughs> it was a real bad one today. Yeah. <laughs> the glossy snow. <clears throat> no, I fucking love the snow. I would go sledding all the time. That's a fun thing to do. Canceling shows. In Fama. <laughs> fun snow reference. In Fama. One. Me and Karen both did a f- fun snow reference. What does Jared have? Let's go. <laughs> Let's see his improv skills. Improv now. Could have went with Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, which yep. is it's in hot water right now because of the dwarf situation. Mm, what are these midgets uh, doing? Well, uh, Peter Dinklage isn't happy because oh, they're making the dwarf movie. You, does he right. want to play all seven? No, he, well, he <laughs> thinks that he should get the role of all seven, yes, as opposed to who's actually happening, uh, Tom Cruise, Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> no way. Is that what's going on? I, didn't I don't know. know all of you guys are so short. <laughs> I know. I'm like, is this real? Ryan's being uh, funny. funny. Dude, that's have you fun. ever seen uh, <laughs> talk, uh, like uh, Mark Wahlberg when he does interviews? His so feet tiny. His feet don't touch He's the five ground. He's 5'5", right? Who? Mark Wahlberg. That's the press statement How tall says. is he, Pat? How tall is he? He's not 5'5". Five, five. He has to be like 5'8". I think Mark Wahlberg is like 5'5". Five, five. I mean, he, you know, did look, he did look pretty big next <clears throat> to Ted. <clears throat> you know who else is short? Uh, Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah. No, like no, five, that's seven. not true. <laughs> I so, know. You guys yeah. hate to hear I've it. I've heard his interviews, and that's a big <laughs> I know. Mark is 5'8". <laughs> I can murder you. 5'8". 5'8". Yeah, yeah. How but, tall is Joe Rogan? He's 5'7". Why do you throw your headphones on? We're right here. Putting do, the headphones on. Do we have, like, a sound? Do we no, a, he's going to listen to a Joe Rogan podcast. I and know. Tell you. He's going like, to go, give me one a, second. <laughs> Let me just cue up Rogan and Will it. Joe Rogan's also 5'8". I think there's misinformation. Well, it is misinformation because, which, first of all, I learned last night. Um, that that uh, Elon <laughs> Musk is tall. Elon is he? Musk. Yeah, I did not know two. that. He's, he's, a big, he's a big boy, apparently jarringly large. Really? Wouldn't, right? You wouldn't expect that. You'd oh, you expect, can't, like, no, you can't I thought he was him. like a dainty apparently scientist. he's a large man. Yeah, I can see that. 
I didn't know that. It's crazy to me. Like, I'm so short. But, like, when I think of a guy that's, like, 5'8", I'm like, oh, what a shorty. You but think but he he's still be. seven inches taller than me. Can you zoom in on the drool? Well, yeah. So, anyways, thanks for setting up the paper towels, Pat. Mark that was Wahlberg, a good idea. Donnie I mean, Wahlberg, and why? Well, oh, they're, we're talking about drooling. Oh, my God. Uh. <laughs> Got it. There you go. <laughs> Got it. I mean, if, if, if there are any fans of the Chip Chipperson podcast out there, Pat, you have to clip that out because that just means that Ernest is thinking about money. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's drooling because he's thinking about you know, Jewish the, dog, you're saying. <laughs> the kashish. <laughs> the kashish. Ernest, come here. Are you trying to intimidate Ryan? It's not necessary. He's not even illegal. Ryan, he, tell, us, tell us where they can find you. Uh, Ryan Long Comedy and the boys cast. Did you put a uh, life insurance policy on him yet? On the dog? Yeah, it's me. I'm replacing it. I've already rubbed my <laughs> vagina on his body and sold his parts to some of my fans. That's funny. Would you? What parts? <laughs> All of it. Like, you get a fucking centimeter of pussy juice on this hind quarter. Oh, yeah. You Are you going to make yeah. an Instagram for the way? Another an NFT. This is, this is going to be a pussy. You should sell people your drool, but just, you know, have him. But it'll be Ernest. Punked. He's, you, you put him. <laughs> They're working eight hours a day. <laughs> You're just milking them. Just fucking milk. I mean, I really wouldn't have to. It doesn't take much. Sorry, we're making fun of your tumor, tumor buddy. But it's like we roast the ones we love. Well, we we hope this medicine heals you. We know it's not going to heal him. The tumor keeps getting bigger. That's a stupid thing to say. Um, <laughs> Let's change the topic back to dwarfs. <laughs> now, <laughs> I got a lot of dwarf material. Wait, can see what Peter what is the political is, uh, correct term for them? Is it dwarfs or was it uh, wasn't it little people, person? Mm -hmm. But they're, but the but thing dwarfism is, uh, is their condition. Well, here's the here's the thing. This is another thing that I learned mm. in comments. I'm like, where were you? <laughs> I learned. Were you at the freak <laughs> show in Coney Island no, online doing research? I learned this from com comment sections. <laughs> you learned from the <laughs> depth the depths of midget Reddit. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> Well, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the apparently, it, it's it's not even true because people that are you know like little people like Peter Dinklage isn't a dwarf. He has dwarfism. Right. He's not a dwarf. Okay. A dwarf is not a human. It's a separate thing. Right. It's a mythical creature. It's a mythical separate thing. Right. So he's trying to say like this fake separate thing can't even mm -hmm. exist. I think. The idea of being a dwarf. Can't. Yeah, that's what the comment what, sections have been saying. <laughs> but, 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 but if, what if we're talking about fiction, right? If like we're talking about a mythical creature. He's saying that one must have dwarfism to play a fictional dwarf. No, he's saying it's they shouldn't be making it, period. No more exploiting the dwarf. He's saying that the... Shouldn't be live action. Yeah, well, some people, and there's some people that have been, uh, you know, the take has come up that he's... Uh, you know, kicking the stool behind him. I think it's fine. To... Okay, so we'll CGI the knees out of all these actors. <laughs> right. Kicking the mini stool behind him. Well, he, yeah, he's kind of saying that they existing is a problematic thing, but uh, yeah. I think that he just doesn't want the competitors. That's probably what That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Pretty hard not to sound like that. You know what I mean? It's going to be he's hard a... to stick out. Exactly. Like a sore thumb. He's a very self-important individual. He, oh, he's high on himself right now, yeah? Yeah. He's peak Hollywood right now. <laughs> like, you can guarantee that when he's bopping around sets and stuff like that, he has fucking dark sunglasses on and a leather jacket. I saw him at the Yelling gym. at caterers. He went to the Brooklyn Heights Equinox. I saw him there a couple times. Really? I used to, like, ride the bike and kind of mind my own business, you know, watch Fox News with the sound off or whatever. Are you sure it was him, or did they just all look the same to you, Karen? <laughs> <laughs> Such a good question. Um, no. What was he doing? Was he was he getting jacked? He must. I think he was coming from a workout. You know. Did he have I a mean, Did he have a muscle tee on? What was the attire? Yeah, uh, you know, athleisure, understated, nothing wild. But he did have an air about him, a very puffed up chest. He had someone carrying his stuff. Yeah, yeah, like waiting to be recognized in a way. You know what I mean? Of like, course. Yeah, he's walking around. Yes, I'm him. The girl's like, I don't just speak English. I know. And I was like, Peter Dinky, Dinky. No, no, no. Damn. No <laughs> autographs. I do not understand. It's not Dinky, is it? <laughs> I so, said no autographs. He's you can like, look, but you can't pick. 
Or throw. So, I or mean, not that out. he shouldn't believe in himself, but he, you know, definitely does. Well, he also just got done working out. You gotta, you always gotta there's, keep your chest up. But there's different types of the believing in yourself. There is a certain type of Hollywood smugness that's uh, yeah. off-putting. He's very rich. I think I'm an example. You think Dinklage has money? No. What? Fucking, um... Apparently he was Game just getting actor, actress, actor scale for the entire fucking no. entire run of, yeah, yeah. Apparently they uh, gave him scale and a half by the 10th season. Can but. you shut up? Are you joking? Are you being funny? Look it up. I think Peter Dinklage made thirty-five grand uh, in the last season of uh, Game of Thrones. A million per episode. Oh, okay. I was off a little. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, I'm like, I think that little Dinklage has got a big old bank account. Yeah, All right. Well, yeah, well I mean, you, you give a, a fucking, Dinklage. you give a dwarf some money, they're gonna be drunk with power. Maybe it was oh, the rest is. of the cast that was getting union scale. Yeah, Look yeah. that up. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Pat, stay on the computer the whole time. Whatever you do. Just look up the whole cast from A to Z. <laughs> uh, here's another uh, interesting fact. Dude, these are just Niles, li- lies Niles, you spout off. Niles from Frasier actually uh, directed a lot of the episodes, and he did uh, his all of his acting for free if they let him direct a few episodes. That's not true. Look it up. That's <laughs> <laughs> not true. They're greedy, these Hollywood types. They want double the it's money. About, it's they all wouldn't... about power there. It seems like he knows how to work out. You know what? It and they is like to all brag. about power. At, like Miranda's like directing episodes, isn't she? Like of just like that. Whatever. One of the other ones is running for office. That, same one. She's like, yeah. The people were like, yeah, that, that show is really good. She goes, I could be president. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I should be the president. That show about sex and restaurants <laughs> was really fucking profound. Yeah, I should yeah. run the country. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what was I going to say? Uh, something about Niles from Frasier. You're a liar. Okay. Stop spouting off these lies. These are facts. These are not facts. He invaded our country just to dispel lies and get them into you're the community. Mis- you're calling me my facts misinformation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if I were Neil Classic. Young, I would take my <laughs> Classic, no Classic Karen. She's always reporting things for misinformation. If I were, she, if she'll I were, send me texts late at night being like, can you believe this guy is not taken down from YouTube? Some doctor with two, 10 followers that she just... <laughs> Misinformation. She, yeah, yeah, she's tagging YouTube. Hello. He's saying they took hydrochloroquine off the shelves. <laughs> yeah. Which they did. Well, that's my misinformation is just, it's all uh, uh, celebrity uh, paycheck related. Celebrity goosep? No, this is what I say to girls, like whenever I first meet them and they're like, this guy, you know, oh, he's like a famous actor. And I'm like, do you know they only make 35K a year? If anything, I'm rich. And that guy's... <laughs> <laughs> I love how you just throw 35k out there. If anything, like I'm actually fucking twice as rich as no. Tom Cruise. Because <laughs> I made 36k. Well, he makes more money, but he blew it all in Scientology. I mean, that's... a lot of those guys are bad at blowing their money. Nick Cage is a big blow your money guy. Yeah. Um, what did he blow it on? Ryan? Castles. <laughs> yes, I remember he did buy one. He's really big into castles. <laughs> Think he has, does he have multiple looks out yeah, of I think he had yeah. to sell some of them off because he realized oh. that he couldn't quite Past afford all the or castles. present that Nick no Cage castles. Who need castles? What? Fun fact, he bought one of those castles off of the dad from Big Bang Theory. Shut up, Ryan. For one week's salary, which was $400. Did you just take a UCB class? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just come in here with some like wild premises? We're supposed oh, to, look at uh, uh, Karen's We're supposed back to, to yes roll, and? She's back to roll tricks. Um, actually... <laughs> I have my trusty producer here to fact, to fact check everything. What have you accomplished? We've given you she eight goes tasks. Conversa- Karen shows up at conversations at the bar. Some guys out oh, there. He goes, dude, this fucking Wrong. show is sick. Um, well, actually, if shows were ranked by Vulture, and that was not Wrong. on the top ten list. You're wrong. <laughs> wrong. I wasn't keeping up. I was selling the Nick Cage stuff. <laughs> he did buy two castles. He bought one in 2007, but looks like he's flipping it. So he, he sold it in 2009. Yeah. Well, he sort of so flipped right. it. You know what you're I mean? Right. He bought the castle, you're renovated right. a little bit. Yeah. What does he do? <laughs> he was just flipping he it. He brought in like a ghost hunter, got rid of all the ghosts. He's like, this is good as new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demi, Demi Lovato is my favorite ghost hunter. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. She sings him to sleep. She, she, the best. She's like, another ghost that was molested. My work is never done. <laughs> That's what she does. I'll tell you what, if there's a ghost in my house, it's going to be molested. Fuck yeah. <laughs> that is sort of, I was thinking about You're coming this. under my sheets, I'm coming under yours. Exactly, right? The ghost too can play at this game. You want to get spooked? Yeah. Like, Why are you drooling? It's, uh, it's black guys and money is what That's does, black guys that's really what, got him going. That's what does it. Nick Cage's oh. castles. It's well, that's a, a lot of drool though. Thick drool. Yeah, I guess uh, that actually did make me feel kind of gaggy as well. You guys are fucking... Uh, 
pussy. Did that? That was real, right? I, oh, that actually that actually happened to me too. I don't know what it was about that texture, but it really fucking. It's viscous as hell, you son. The color too. That wasn't. Yeah, that wasn't good. Yeah, it's to look com- at. it's like blood. It's like very faint blood. And I didn't even fake the gagging, and I was like, "That's crazy, them gagging." And then he did the same thing. So something about that is very. It's like wild to me. Like I've dated if, like so many guys who are such pussies when it comes to stuff like that. It's like shit, vomit, anything. Like you guys are. Like, uh, uh, you know, it's this like, is insane you're that you're a- like, oh, my fucking boyfriend didn't even want me to take a shit in front of him. He didn't. This he didn't, fucking he didn't want me to shit in his mouth. And I yeah, was like, what are you, gay? You're shitting and vomiting. <laughs> you're like, oh, I didn't know. I was- <laughs> you're gay. <laughs> they see Karen I- discharge and they're like, I'm going to write on that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to discharge you from this podcast. Well, one time a girl did shit on me. Ready for a joke? <laughs> no. Okay. It's just going to be another lie. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known that she was going to when she started riding me while she was reading the newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's doing the crossword puzzle. <laughs> uh, I'm spelling your name, babe. That's funny. Uh, Why did it take me a minute to get that? Because you don't read. She's reading the funnies while she's on top of me. you play Game Boy when you poop, probably. Yeah. 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 Or your mom does those Muppet shapes for you. <laughs> you do poopy? <laughs> I thought she'd distract me from wiping. Ew! As she's wiping. Come on, Ernest, how you feeling? Not great. Do you think that there's anyone that's like into getting shit on, but it's like they don't actually oh, want? Oh, no, they don't actually want to be shit on. They're like, I just want you to go shit and then like wipe and then just sort of like rub the yes. toilet paper. Down. Yes, and I don't even think that's weird. Like, there's like a lot of. You like, don't think that's weird? I mean, I'm not into it, but like, I don't kink <laughs> shame. Like, if you're into diaper play, I. Don't What's this kink. new thing where you want to kink. shame anyone? I don't kink shame. You don't think it's okay? Well, let's say you're not shaming, or unless like, I'm not laughing interested at funny, in it. But that you don't think it's appeal to me. If if we found out that one of our friends, I would never let it go. I'd bring was up like, every oh yeah, yeah, that's like, my big thing is I get Danny. shit on. <laughs> right, you wouldn't find. If you, it was Danny, you, yeah. You, I would so you would shame him. That's I'd be correct, like, Heather, yeah. do you wipe big Danny today? Exactly. That would be hilarious. Yeah, you find it. How's Danny's donut hole this morning, H-bomb? That's Danny's thing. Like, he goes home and he wants to trade stocks. You know, this is what happens. He goes home and he wants to put a diaper and he makes her come in and then she, they, they, she tell him that his stock portfolio just tanked. Yeah. You're fucking nothing. You're down 40%. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking you're getting margin calls from the bank because you're, you're that's, fucking that's, tanking that's humiliation <laughs> so that's yes so you would shame it's just I you don't want to shame a hypothetical but if it was a real person doing it you would do like the idea of shaming of course I like to have fun yeah, yeah. so have fun for the other person shut up Jared shut the fuck up Jared alright do not speak to her like that <laughs> Son of a bitch. Karen, Karen doesn't like when you look at her a speaker. I really don't. I'm Karen. so like I'm just like worried that the tumor's like going into his jaw. Jared or the dog? <laughs> and that's what's stopping me from telling jokes. There Jared. you go. Yeah. <laughs> the tumor is fucking uh, el- ellipsing his humor bone. Jared walked in the night talking about how much fucking pussy he's getting. Really? So you're smashing right now? I'm I'm playing the field. Nice, dude. What's his name? <laughs> Mark. Zucker- so, how Zuckerberg? many? How many? How many did you put up in the last week? What was? It? Yeah. What are the numbers you were doing? Know. The numbers. Uh, for the ones listening, <laughs> it was just you. Ooh, smooth. They'll so never know. Smooth. Are they listening to the podcast? The girls? Mm, they Do creep. you fuck to the podcast? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear about Karen. Yeah, yeah. The, the girls like you walk up to her bar. She put your headphones on her. Shh. shh, shh. <laughs> <I'm a podcaster. laughs> listen to me, podcast, baby. <laughs> okay, yeah, I- that's so funny. Making a girl listen to your podcast, but the whole thing. She's like, oh yeah, this is what I do, and she's like, oh that's good. You go. There's another hour left. There's another hour and a half left. <laughs> this joke did really well. Please. Me and Lewis were really corny when we were dating. Now that I'm thinking about it, we would both fucking watch ourselves. I would watch myself with such glee when, like, me and Micah used to do shame on because we used to just shit on somebody for like an hour. That's what we just talked about. What? <laughs> she would have like, had a podcast fun called of, Shame On. Make fun. Oh, yeah, Insane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was great. Check out the archives. She's turning over a new Hollywood leave. Her and <laughs> Dinklage. But um, I I would just like watch myself like at Lewis, and then he would be fucking watching himself. You too. and Lewis just sitting on that the bed be our foreplay. watching your respective shows. <laughs> <laughs> and That's then, great. And then we'd fuck to Joe Rogan. No. Mm-hmm. Um, I went on a date. I went on a great date. Men I told can- you not to bring this up. 
Nobody wanted to hear about it. No one wanted to hear about the date? Oh, I think, well, are we done talking about your pussy crusades? <laughs> I know, I, get, I threw you a fucking... Christening all of New York with your cock? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's Jewish, so he would be bar mitzvahing in them. That's true, yeah. That's a good one. Because they're 12. <laughs> <laughs> are yeah. they, Jared? Are they 12? No. That's too young. No, are these girls of age, Jared? They're gorgeous, successful women. Okay. What the fuck are they doing with the Didn't age? mention the age, <laughs> though, did he? <laughs> Didn't mention we go, the age. We go, how, how old were these girls? They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> they just passed the eighth grade. They're very successful. Oh. <laughs> she murdered her art <laughs> exam. I don't like to define success with a number. <laughs> 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 They're hot and they like me. When was she born? <laughs> She's so successful. <laughs> Guys keep asking me out on like ramen and soup dumpling dates. Yeah, I only like Asian food. That's my main thing, yeah. Why? Best type of food. I know. Okay. They nailed it. And all of them too. Yeah, but uh Japanese food's good, Chinese food's good, Thai, big Thai fan, probably all of them. Yeah, I don't think there's one. The only thing I don't like is when you actually have to eat the food that they actually eat, like all the gross fish bullshit. Right, all the eyes and, oh, yeah. and all, but the, all the tongues. But Am- all the American versions of what all they eat is the best food. They've been bidding on Ernest. They've been, oh. <laughs> He's a commodity. There you go. <laughs> they like the looks of him. He's, He's got so, the extra fat with the tumor. Yeah. He's so handsome. He's so handsome, huh? So. But I just feel like slurping on a date isn't that hot. And I was like, I hadn't had soup dumplings in a while. and I, like, I found that pretty hot. You slurp? I do. I just, you drink it like that. No, but like ramen, like if you're, and like noodles can like flap into your face or like flap, you know what I mean? I could probably eat ramen without it being a disaster, but not, you know, to each their own. Not, I mean, I'll hit with through a car wash <laughs> after. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or a gangbang, whatever. There's noodles on your head. You go, well, shouldn't take me to ramen. Then I guess <laughs> we both learned a lesson today. <laughs> I'm messy. And then the fucking soup dumplings. I don't know. I guess I hadn't had soup dumplings in a while. It's very like. Mat- Let me guess. Still wanted to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> to fuck me more. But I put one in my mouth. Yeah, you did. And it exploded. It exploded all, <laughs> over, my pa- all over my pants. And then he exploded in his pants. There we go. Yep. Exploding duo. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like this couple. This day was electric. Yeah. Or on it was fire. really that a good been. date. You think is he watching again? too? Um, he, I mean, he'd probably have to catch up. I don't know. He's probably starting from episode one. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to see some ups and downs. He's going to see some little outrages. That he, are if you get a call from him tomorrow, he goes, hey, you didn't tell me that you're doing a fucking podcast with a pussy crusher. I don't want you around that energy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to be near this like swab yeah, fucking I don't, I don't want to be <laughs> magnet. Near this man what, what, what guest are we talking about? What? I so said, what guest are we talking what about? What guest? What the fuck? What kind of questions? What kind of positions that? did you do when you were fucking tuning them up? <laughs> Show us. Kaflump. Kaflam. Do, do him on earnest. He Boom. can't move. Oh my God. He's probably just like what the girls were like. Just like petrified. <laughs> no, I, was out, un- I was out late. Did you do him doggy style? Unmoving. Yeah, you did. <laughs> did you pull her hair good job. did you pull her hair a little nice how, she was pull- the, how was the dirty talk you know it's funny did you tip <laughs> <laughs> I gave her only the tip <laughs> that was so great so, <laughs> what did you say Jared I said I gave he said he gave her just the tip oh wait can I go the back the dirty talk yeah it was good on her part or your part? Both. Yeah? One was like, I've been dying for this. Who That's said that? That's what she said? Yeah. She said that to you? I know. She's nuts. I'm like, is I she dying? That. I love that. Yeah. Was this? <laughs> yeah, that was she... a dirty talk? She goes, I've been dying for this. Yeah. <laughs> and you're, you're happy with that? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty hot. I was doing it for you. <laughs> but there was one girl who, uh, she wasn't into like being sort of degraded, called like a slut or a whore. <coughs> So I was like, yeah, and we hadn't even taken our clothes off yet, which is that was I, probably I the first I sung with moment. the waitress. <laughs> 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 so I was just like, wow, you're so nice to be doing this. You're a fucking <laughs> slut. Uh, really? Uh, really? Do you mind if we finish the movie before? Yeah, <laughs> I'm really into this. Stop calling me a slut at the bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you should put your tits away. <laughs> 
So she, and then what happened? She sort of said, "Hey, stop calling me all those things." Sort of, yeah. <laughs> and then what did you say? I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I, can't. So I, <laughs> I wish I could. It's all about repetition. And you think I want to be saying these things? Like it's a rare, <laughs> it's a rare form of Tourette's. You <laughs> fucking <laughs> slut whore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess Can I please I gotta, have some chicken noodle flood horse soup? I guess I got to rewrite my playbook. I, I didn't call for that. I didn't know this audible was going to be there. I wish I lived in a world where I didn't have to say these filth. <laughs> <laughs> it comes from my soul. No, I don't know. Like, Ryan, you're monogamous and in a serious relationship, and I'm, you know, I know I've, here's the thing, even if I've, like, hung out with your, like, a significant other, like, once, like, women, like, form this, like, loyalty. I'm not saying, like, I haven't wrecked a home in my past, you know what I mean? Like, if I don't know your girlfriend, then I don't fucking know her, but. <laughs> Are you right now, like, justifying that you wouldn't, like, uh, bang a girl's, like, boyfriend? That she would? Is that kind of what you're saying? Like, just so you know, I wouldn't, like, bang someone's boyfriend. If I boyfriend. don't know her, then, yeah, I would bang a girl's boyfriend. Okay. But why are you saying that? I don't know but where this is coming bang, from. Would you bang? Like, you're just like, for the record, I would never. Well, sometimes. Like, <laughs> but you? No, I was just thinking, because, like, me and Jared are both single. And, like, oh. you're, like, in, like, a serious relationship. So, like, you know, your point of view is sort of valuable. Distorted. Yeah, it, you know, because you're not out here in these streets like me and Jared are dating. Then what? Is, what does that mean, though? Well, I mean, okay. I'm fucking. How does it feel to be on my level? I've been single and not single many times in my life. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Right. She's but like, your point, no perspective. But you're, no, I'm just saying. Is your point that like with his dirty talk conversation? I'm just asking. What is this relating to? Um, I'll be honest. I really didn't know when I started. Yeah. So that's why I had a feeling. When you started having sex. <laughs> no, when I was talking. Oh. I just was kind of hoping like something would spark. Um, well, it felt yeah, it felt it pointed at Jared. That's why. Yeah. What? <laughs> she wouldn't. She's not gonna bang you. <laughs> the gross. guy who wait, can you show my drawing? Oh, I thought you were gonna show the guy who did this drawing of me. I really like him too. Like we had a coffee date this morning and we used to sleep. Together. You've been doing a lot of dates, haven't you? This week, but like it's been like dry. I'm trying to get over this person that I'm in love with. Oh, how's that guy been? Have you been speaking to him? I'm over him. There you go. Yeah, can you unwrap it? Have he you been specifically asked that Jared not hang it up because he doesn't want it to break. Have you been speaking to them on a daily basis still? Yeah. Oh, wow. So you're still friends? Yeah. Uh, now, I got a question to what you were just saying about the boyfriend, girlfriend stuff. Now, would you bang the guy? Now, you'd say you'd bang a guy who has a girlfriend if you don't know her, which and is here's not the thing. true. If the guy but, tells <laughs> me that they're breaking up, like if the guy's like, we're not even, it's the end. Oh, so you believe that lie. I mean, it sounds I like would, the moral yeah. of the story is you'll play it by ear. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, she'll play it by penis. Uh, sometimes you might not want to do it. It might feel weird because you're yeah. like, yeah, I know the chick too right. much, blah, blah. And like a lot of times you won't. It's pretty pretty 50-50. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not, not, not if I know the chick. Look at my seat. Honestly, it's probably any day that ends in Y. This is a face portrait of yourself? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 it's my best feature. <laughs> Um, if it was my face one, I wouldn't frame it. <laughs> like, uh -huh. Look at my friend Aaron draws did this. We'll tag him. He does. He draws a lot of naked ladies. Really like cool stuff. The he's, well, you're not naked in yours. He no, said, but you're he, like, I'll do naked. He goes, ah, I'll pop some clothes on. <laughs> he's like, can <laughs> you yeah. put something on it? Put this pillowcase over your head. But my head's not even in it. Shh. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Sorry. Just That's what I say when I'm having what, sex. What, Pat? Give it to Jared. Good yeah. call. Oh, don't drop it. It's like a nice job. He it is, it's a nice frame. He framed it too. <clears throat> yeah. He's well, a, like, his, if I know his guy is. He's a great guy. Like 30. Um, I used to see him when I was a bartender at this place called Greenpoint Heights. I just sort of a weird thing. Your ex being like a, uh, or like a guy who used to date just being like, we didn't really nope, fully date. this is exactly the scenario. He messaged you <laughs> to the blue after two years and he goes, I drew you. <laughs> I drew you. <laughs> Open your mail. <laughs> To be the fair, mail doesn't come today. It was a drop off. It's personal. Weird. Look out your window right now. He's waving, holding the photo. <laughs> <laughs> drew your butt. <laughs> it is a fine line. Like if like a creepy guy is like, I drew you. I'm now like, he's creepy. Block, block, block. Not this guy. But if like a guy's kind of cute and he, you know, made a mold of my face, then it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, you want there a is a double else. standard and I don't know what to say. Like if you're hot, you can do despicable things. Like, right. Send me an edible arrangement. I'll think it's cool. But if you're a fucking freak. Yeah. 
Them's the breaks, huh? I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, you can basically if you're a if you're a smoking hot dude, you can buy castles, whatever you want, you know, and then people are gonna think it's a cool thing. You watching that Hugh Hefner doc? No, but oh, I heard shit, that he's I heard in he the hot off. seat a little bit right now. Yeah, because yeah, he's in he's hell because he died like ten years ago. He's fucking dogs, dude. <laughs> what? What dogs? Yeah, that's what. That's the hot seat, right? That he's sitting in. That he's fucking dogs. Uh, I never heard that. Oh, he there was dogs. bestiality implied. There but was bestiality. I never heard that he fucked dogs. That's what, that's what but saying. I heard that. Um, that like the Playboy Mansion came out and they're like, nah, it's, I mean, these I documentaries, mean, uh, everything can't be believed in them. But I don't believe any of them. And like this chick, Holly, what's her face is so funny. Engage in bestiality. Like, I'm sure that Hugh Hefner was a shitty dude. And a lot of the stuff they're like, he was like he mean was. and, it, it, and it, he was like banging all of these girls and he was like manipulative. And you're like, yeah, that p- probably sounds about right. <laughs> but, <laughs> but how the, can yeah. you be manipulative when you're so upfront and honest about the type of dude that you are? Like, um, because you, the, if you're, if you have all these like girls and you're like, Hey, you kind of work here. You can't, or you're not supposed to work anywhere else on contract. And it's like, whoever kind of gets my attention the most, like moves up this company the most and gets all the best shots. But that's like, completely taking any responsibility from the women. That's just being like, they are 100% just like stupid. Like, right. Duh, 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 I, 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 think well, just... I mean, sure. But like, I'm not accusing, like what I'm saying isn't a crime. So whatever. I mean, right. listen, I've met many girls in my life that I could probably manipulate into doing almost anything. Yeah. And like, you know, if the if, if you're you do a female that, open you, micer, he's talking about if, you. No, but if you go, if I do it, <laughs> which probably I have done, you know, I've not always been whatever. But if you do like uh, do that, and then you're like, ah, I probably fucking took advantage of that girl, maybe in a way I shouldn't. And then you go, hey, what you're taking away her agency now? Like, there's an in between, right? Sure. Yeah. Justification. But, it, but I'm just saying, it's not a crime to fucking be an asshole. No, it's not. And but I, I'd say, and I think you know, if you're very blatant about the type of like lifestyle you're into, I mean, you you market yourself pretty honestly. I, I think that like as a woman, you probably have some sort of idea of like what you're getting into and are kind of like responsible for yourself. Well, like, th- like this that's, Holly, that's for sure. Like this Holly chick. But that, that's, but those are two separate conversations. Like, should the girl left and is it, are they responsible and is it their own fault? Whatever is a different conversation because there's always going to be a new crop of girls that you, you can fucking bring into the mansion and right. whatever. But it's like so, it's a yeah, symbiotic sure. relationship. Like he made these chicks rich. Like they were able to work elsewhere after probably being a bunny or whatever. You know what I mean? Like a lot Some of them, them fucking yeah. wrote books. But what bothers me is the hypocrisy. This Holly chick who got a TV show. I think she may have even been the one who like came up with the idea for it. It was the girls next door thing. Yeah. And she was like, he was like number one chick, like from the beginning, like bottom he, bitch. Yeah. But like, he liked her or whatever. And she goes, she goes, I, um, she's like, it's not that I don't like sex workers. I do like sex workers. I just wasn't a sex worker. She's like, I'm not like, trying to like, you know, shit on them or anything, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, well, I mean, you live there for free. Like, you got an allowance to be his girlfriend, like, to have sex with him. Like, in a way, you were a sex worker. That's fine. You, But you signed up for it. And you also got, next thing you know, you got a book deal and, and all this stuff. And it's just, like, for her to go back also on, like, all of those times and just talk massive amounts of shit about... Huge. Girls are the fucking queens of revisionist history, well, period. It, it's just like there's so much footage of how happy she looked. And I just I don't think she's that good of an actress that she was pretending. Yeah. Or maybe like, you know, like any other thing, she like thought it was sick sometimes. And then sometimes she thought it was crappy and then right. realized right. which one of those two opinions will be more profitable now. Right. I know. <laughs> Especially now that he's dead. That one was my favorite. The one on the left. That's Holly. That's the girl I'm talking about. Oh, she's That's not. Holly and Bridget. That half their life she seemed got like a, a tiresome ton. life. She got a lot of plastic surgery, Holly. Just throwing parties all the time. Yeah. Just Around so many women. That must be so annoying. I mean, to be honest, <laughs> like, even when I was the most, like, smashing, like, you probably after, like, a fucking bunch of nights in a row, you go, oh, I'll probably take a break. No breaks. No days off. No. I think that, yeah, I think that would be, like, dude, if I fucking banged, like, three girls a day for, like, a month straight... And with no days off, the next day girls are like, three some time. I go, can you, can I, I'm watching TV. Like, th- there'll be no point. It's just never enough for you. He loved it. He loved fucking. 
He was super progressive too. When there was still Jim Crow so laws, <laughs> there was Jim Crow laws were still. I learned this in the second episode. Were still in effect when he started a bunch of these clubs, and he so there was still like segregation was like the law of the land, and, and he integrated all his clubs and like had black performers, a lot of black bunnies. He's done to fuck black chicks too. Absolutely, <laughs> he's Who's greedy, the fir- greedy. First black bunny, um, Sammy Davis Jr. Is that right? No. But he was at a lot of the, he was at the clubs and stuff. Okay, it's a good do, it's oh, a good documentary. Uh, Jennifer Jackson. She's probably beautiful. He probably gave it to her so good though. Right. <laughs> probably fucking Jarrett style. Roger Rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. Hitting her. And Are stuff. you channeling? I've been, her I've, been, I've been. What? I was gonna say she was five nine. She's a pretty tall chick. Okay. Wow. What does that do for you? They, they, honestly, I like a smaller chick. Yeah, but uh, uh, it does. It still does wonders, you know. We can still does wonders. Does it do wonders? <laughs> does w- tell us about the does wonders. Fucking wonders for I me. mean, that's the same as like height as me. So it's, the sixty nine is going to be on point. Yeah, and very even. Go. Yeah. Yeah, I also prefer a girl that's not like over five nine. It's too much tall people. Yeah. Jared spells sixty nine S H I X sixty nine. Jew. <laughs> 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 Jared But I've been staying out all night Tell everybody about how you were on Barstool I was on uh, a, a new untold story with KB and Nick What story and did you tell? A lot I told the story about how I got heckled in the 6th grade For my exit project By mm-hmm. your dad? What? By your dad? My dad heckled me? No, it's students Okay When I was presenting They shouted out Hey, your mom did this uh, That was pretty traumatizing I, did, I told that. I told the story about my turtle running away. What's Turtles it? don't run. <laughs> that has to stop as well. I also well agree that. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking goop factory. <laughs> I mean, it fucking, uh, what does it, it It leaked onto uh, Monro- our last guest. I'm saving it. I'm saving that's uh, it was great. No, it was it was a cool podcast. What other stories that I told? I told. I don't know. Go Jared. check it I, out. I was like, well, let me see if Jared has anything. What's funny going on with this say. whole turtle? Why is it, what my turtle? You don't do a lot of prep for this, huh? No, <laughs> Jared's on it though. <laughs> what am I on? <laughs> Fucking Adderall? No prep. It's so a, the turtle story was uh, my tur- my turtle got away. Uh, the the viewers know about it. Uh, <laughs> the viewers know about it. The real the real ones know about the turtle. <laughs> they, know. they don't want to hear about the turtle again. Yeah, yeah, it's r- it's pretty <laughs> fucked up. I went on a podcast called A New Untold Story, and I told told shit. <coughs> it's pretty fucked up. I'd well, I guess to- that's true. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. told I told some reinvented the game a little bit. You know, behind the scenes for the viewers. <laughs> Sometimes comedians just tell the same story a couple times. Break the fourth wall. You know, you I break get- the fourth wall. Listen. <laughs> When you I, see those jokes popping off, that right. didn't happen yesterday. I didn't have a spot that night, so I was like, I gotta work my magic. You know, I gotta gotta get some time somewhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, no, that was a lot of fun. I actually did have a spot that night. That was actually a really good night. I fucking <laughs> what? Why don't you tell them about how I wasn't funny and you were defending me, Karen? And you're like, I don't like those kids making fun of you on the Who was making fun of you? <laughs> Karen, what happened? I mean, that's the angle that it came across as, but... So you were telling Pat, your story and they were like, that was not uh, funny. No, I just like the clip asked Pat. What the fuck, dude? Cut it for a second? Cut. Jeez. Buddy, we bring you onto our fucking platform. <laughs> and then you're like, thanks, boys. Just gentle ribbon me. They're like, we're not kidding. This is not good, dude. We will not be airing this. <laughs> that's also the same thing that goes on here. <laughs> I just was like, Jared's the comic on here. Like, he's the stand-up comedian. Like, these other kids, I get it, like, their personality or whatever. But, like, you know, I like to see the comic fucking shine. A lot of those Barstool guys are pretty funny. They are pretty funny. I just, you know. They gave, yeah, it was a shout-out. They're like, too many comics from Staten Island. Or there are too many comics from Staten Island. And so they're, we're from? They're, they're like, so it goes, Pete Davidson. Yeah, that's where I'm from, born and raised. They were like Pete Davidson, who's dating Kim Kardashian, Colin Jones, who's dating Scarlett Johansson, and then Jared Schwartz, who took uh, Scooby-Doo snacks from the Barstool Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> you should say you're yeah. still being raised there because you still live there. Oh, you currently live in Staten Island? <laughs> so are you bringing girls back to Staten Island or oh. are you asking for their place? You go, oh, fuck, my the uh, exterminator's there today. No, <laughs> I'm just actually was... getting the, the, the counter is sanded today, so if you don't mind. No, Rhonda's sick I mean, of these it. girls beg to meet my mom. These R- Rhonda's like, no more bitches. Yeah. She's like fucking Chris Kardashian. You've been bringing girls back to your mom? Well, I did. I did Chris Jenner, sorry. I did sorry. have a friend coming back on the, on the day. Does your mom ever come down in the underwear? Jared! 
<laughs> yeah. No, she walks down the hall. <laughs> we live in the same. Would you go, you, would you bust in at 4 a.m.? You go, earmuffs, mom. Little <laughs> Socks on the door, mom. <laughs> you know what that means. One time, though, I did have to. Karen's <laughs> having a conversation with herself over there. <laughs> One time, my I dog. had to. Peak podcast. I had to go pick my up dog. my car. Look, he's dying. <laughs> I did have to go pick up my car, and I wish, and uh, my mom's like, you got to go, Jared. It's 11. They close at 1130. And, like, we're trying to get in, you know, a little action. <laughs> As she's riding me, she's like, Jared, let's go. I was like, oh, that's so gross. It's so, how do you fuck? He came immediately. And then that, my girl was that, like, Jared, let's go. And I was like, yeah, that busted. You go, I think we got to finish this. Yeah. I have not, I, I haven't jerked off all month. I don't think it's normal development. I don't think it's normal for an adult to fuck that closely to their mother. I would really like that to be known. I'd like to share that with you. She, she a, just continuously shames. You've never done that? I don't think Some it's... I have. I've fucked it like a few times with my dad under the bed. Shut under up, the bed. Ryan, <laughs> shut yeah, up. So Ryan, he's doing the lying thing again. <laughs> lying Listen, lion Ryan. Your dad wasn't under the bed <laughs> while you had sex. It's I'm not, not an idiot, Ryan. It reminds it me of like it rem- hunting her ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of like kids who still sleep with their parents when they're nine, or yeah. kids who well, breastfeed until they're six. Hey guys, that was also me. It's just the latency is concerning. I'm emotionally stunted. Stunted, and I'm working on it. This year, I'm getting out. I have a permanent job now. Karen. I'm getting out. Oh. I'm getting out of there. I'm breaking free. I'm soaring. That was a Demi Lovato joke. Uh, I don't know her songs. I don't <laughs> know the catalog. Actually, no, it's not. Well, Dude. that was Vanessa Hudgens from, oh my God. I only know so her from bad. the ghost hunting stuff. That's so bad, dude. That's so bad. That was Vanessa Hudgens. High school music. I was ready to sing it. Vanessa. I was in. Fucking in front of your Maybe parents. Maybe she wrote it. Maybe no, Ryan. No, it's not good. Oh, man, my don't encourage weak. him. I mean, I mean, it could be when pretty you're in hot, high school, though. like in that kind of era. It could be pretty yeah, hot. Sure, what are you gonna you're do? A teenager. Yeah, you're, you're getting away with it. You're a teenager. Hey, well, we like to role play. <laughs> no. I actually did lie to you that my dad wasn't under the bed. <laughs> we were under the bed. And your dad, it was under your dad's bed. You snuck in to we, fuck under him. We snuck in. Yeah. Dad, check it out. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He Check said, it out, Dad. But no, I've been going back to their place. I've been, I, I worked of course up. you back have. The of course place. you have. You know, Friday night, this, this date I went on. It's hard for me to bring men back here because my dog drools on them. I was on, on the them. guest list at, at some bar that we went Yeah, to. you were. Did you give the bouncer like a fucking yes, sir. secret handshake as you walked in? Uh, yeah. Were you like on Pete Davidson? <laughs> I used to do that in Toronto where I'd have like a few places where I would kind of you had could you get vip it. treatment right. sort of thing and then be like at first the first couple times and then she's like and then after 10 play after like you know hanging out a few times it was like oh you just it's only there <laughs> that's the only one and i'm like yeah you know, yeah, I know anywhere com- in this city i own this city i know some comics you ride who, with me girl right, i know some comics who bring uh their dates to the stand so they get some daps yeah who <laughs> you know them I don't Quite like. Well, br- I, don't, I never like bringing chicks around. You're gonna just clubs. like bring up that and then not say. I'm not naming names. Why would I name no. Them? I like to present myself to girls with like a cool hip image, and yeah. I have to bring them around my loser comedian. Brutal. <laughs> Ouchie. They go. Are these the kind of fucking nerds that you? My. It's like with men, it's really hard be, to bring to be like. Yeah, hey. bring a dude around because then he's got to be around all these like fucking dudes that are like. Yes, I agree. I would if I was a guy. And a girl brought me to like a environment like that to hang out. It would be the equivalent of like a, a girl that's like, oh, you know, I'm the trainer for the fucking, the ba- like the basketball team, yeah. the Pistons. Yeah. And you know, oh, I'll bring you and hang out with a dinner with it's like her and all her like athlete friends. And yeah. you're just there like, why am I here? This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Get me out of here. It's, I understand it's tough, but uh, it can be done. Or what? like, we don't need to be at my job. I don't trust this. Yeah, is oh my he, God, look, it's coming, it's coming. It, is it coming? It's coming. Yeah. That's what I was saying to my girls. That's he what I was brought saying it my, for that's you. What, that's what I was saying Give to my girls. I was like, he brought it to that's, you. That's, that's, my, that's my dirty talk. It's coming, it's coming, yeah. it's coming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come here, baby. What, it's just a little one. It's not even All ready. Right, do it over there, Karen. Just got to stop. That's how that's how my girls are cleaning me up this week. I can't, I, you guys. <laughs> I girls. asked, I asked, <laughs> I asked the vet today. I can't put him to sleep just because he's drooling. <laughs> <laughs> put, 
fair. <laughs> I was like, he's doing it. They're like, is he still eating? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah, then. Is he still walking? Yeah. Is he still playing? Yeah. He's just drooling a lot. And Karen, Did you ever have sex with a girl and when you're about to come, do the... Ay, 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 ay. Hey, Did you ever do that? Yeah. No. <laughs> sort of animal-related uh, humor. Yeah, pretty good. The Lion King. <laughs> I, go, I go, I can't wait to show you my animations after this. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, is it in yet? <laughs> it is already in. <laughs> in. <laughs> I already <laughs> came. I have already <laughs> came. <laughs> I, I hey. <laughs> Come on in, me baby. <laughs> Come inside. Well, I know the playlist me. I'm putting on next time. I have already time. came. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, what is another fun uh, <laughs> Lion King song? Oh, right. Another one. Akuna Matata, I busted a nut up. <laughs> I come in a toddler. <laughs> okay, <laughs> give me some notes. I feel like I'm, I, I feel like I got more. Worry free. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Philosophy. I come in a toddler. <laughs> no, no, no. F- uh, <laughs> this is what it is. <laughs> Geometry. <laughs> Philosophy. <laughs> and that's her second period. <laughs> oh. I give her. The D. Oh, what'd you say? The D. The D. Oh, like the grades good. that she was getting? Yeah, that's good. Sorry, I ruined it. Mm-hmm. No, Karen, this was great. Ryan, thanks for coming on. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, thanks for this coming. This was a lot of fun. Sorry you had to see the, the drool. Fellas, boys, boys, boys. I feel like we have one more Lion King song. You know? I know. I'm, like, I I'm know, trying to think know. of the whole... Circle of life has been working for me in my head. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know He's anything. Been trying. I don't know anything. What else? Um, what's that Scar song? Mm. Oh, I just can't wait to come. Can you feel, feel me in you? your butt? No. <laughs> wait, wait. No. <laughs> no. 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 God oh, I just you. can't wait to be seen. No, 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 that's every, girl, every girl's anthem. If you're in midnight. <laughs> and I, have and I just the- can't yeah. wait for you to meet my mom. <laughs> All right, we gotta wrap this up. Thanks for listening, and you guys. I just Check can't out Ryan wait at RyanLong.com. <laughs> check out his YouTube. Check out his boys cast. Check him out. Up performs all over the city. Oh, all the country. All over the, city. Oh, the, the world. Oh, the, the stand, world. This Brooklyn guy. Club. Seen him all He's Canadian, but no big deal. Any ice skates? Um, so you the can catch me slope. at <laughs> Did It All for the Nookie dot com. Did it all website. For the nookie. Been... <laughs> Nobody wants Karen's Nookie. All right, have a good night. Bye. It's only she is.